Hey everybody, this is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to force WordPress to use an SSL certificate. SSL stands for Secure Socket Layer, and it's a way to encrypt data that's sent over networks like the internet. So if you are, say you're at a coffee shop and you're on a public Wi-Fi, and you go to your WordPress login page and you log in, the data that is sent to the website server when you log in, in order to verify that you're actually allowed to go into that site, that can be intercepted by somebody. However, if you have HTTPS at the front of your website, S stands for secure, and that means that there's a SSL certificate installed on your site, then any data that is sent is encrypted. So the information can still be intercepted, but then the person who intercepts it also has to decrypt it. And often SSL certificates are bank level encryption. So it's gonna be very hard and they're probably just not gonna waste their time trying to crack it. However, if someone is watching the Wi-Fi band and they do see a, a non-secure site and they intercept the login information, then it's a piece of cake for them to get in. So obviously at that point, if they wanna crack websites, they will be getting into yours. So it's actually quite easy to force WordPress to use an SSL certificate. You do first have to purchase one and you can do that via your hosting account. You can just call your host and say you want to add an SSL certificate to your account and they'll ask you a bunch of questions to make sure you get the right one and it goes to the right website. And it costs about 50 to $80 US a year to have an SSL certificate. And then once you have one inside your WP config file, you can tell WordPress to use only the HTTPS at the front of the website. So it uses the SSL certificate all the time. And how you do that, once you have your SSL certificate, you log into your hosting account, which I've done here. In this case, I'm using HostGator. Scroll down a little bit, click on File Manager, find the website that we want to secure for the document root option, click on Go and we load the document root, we see all the files in the website root. wp-config is about halfway down. Click on it to highlight it. Click on edit. You can also do this via FTP if you prefer that route. And then anywhere, I usually prefer near the bottom, right about here, there's a, a commented piece of text that says, that's all, stop editing, happy blogging. And that's from the WordPress developers themselves. So we can put stuff above there. Anything below that we shouldn't touch. But if we copy in this little piece of code, which is also below this video, so you can just copy and paste it right from there. Basically, it's a WordPress constraint that says force SSL admin. So anything that happens related to the admin section is going to have forced SSL, so it'll all be encrypted. And then once you have that in there, you can click on save changes and that will force SSL certificate use. However, I don't have SSL on this demo site, so I'm not going to save it, but that is all you have to do. And I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you subscribe to our channel, check out our social media feeds and go to wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.